Hey guys, welcome back to Nikki For Real. I know I never put out videos on this channel. I'm always focused on my Deal Finding Diva channel. But today is like crazy. Like since yesterday, everybody has been talking about Bill Cosby, right? So it got me to thinking. <laughs> I need to do a story time. So today we are going to talk about the time Bill Cosby sent me a DM. I lied to you not. All right, so this is what happened. Now, I don't want to give my age away, but I went to Temple University. Shout out to my Temple Owls. I am a Temple University grad. And my graduation year was technically was 2004, okay? But I was like, like a class short of walking in that class, okay? So what it was, like, I didn't know you know, I, I talk to like a billion people who have said that when you're short like that, that you can walk and then you'll just finish your class in the summer. But nobody told me that back then. So I missed my 2004 ceremony, okay? So I was like so hurt that I missed my ceremony because it was also a known thing back then and I don't know if any of you remember, especially you Philly people, Philly people will definitely probably remember this. But back in the day, Bill Cosby used to talk at all the graduation ceremonies for Temple University. So he would come and he would do a speech and everything. And let's be real, with all what's going on with the whole Bill Cosby situation, like, yeah, um, yeah, like he back then was America's TV dad, like everybody loved him, like forget the fact that now he's being sentenced to 310, 3 to 10 is a long time, especially when you're 81, okay? But, um, you know, that's neither here nor there. So, so, you know, he was actually, he did the speeches and he had made an announcement to say um, that he would no longer be doing speeches after the 2004 ceremony. So, I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, I waited all my life. I go through Temple University. I do my bid there, because you know, college is like a prison. Like, you, once you are done, you like, I'm out. So yeah, so 2004, he made that announcement. And he's like, nope, no more speeches. So, here's the thing. When we hear about the stuff that went on, you know, Andrea Constant and everything, because you know, she was a Temple University employee, right? So that whole situation happened around that time, which is more than likely the reason why Bill Cosby decided he would no longer do the speeches at Temple University because, you know, he had that whole settlement and everything, you know, that was the timeline. like. Now it makes sense, okay? Because I was like, why would he not do the speeches anymore? Like, yeah, so again, so I was hurt. Now, before Facebook, and here I go telling my age again. Before Facebook, everybody knows what the popping social media site was. What was it? MySpace! So, yes. So, I had my little MySpace account. I actually, like started to learn coding through MySpace. Like, remember like you could actually do like crazy stuff with your pages? Like, I, I used to be a Claudette Ortiz fan. Like, yeah, this is like sidebar, but look. So I was a Claudette Ortiz fan, so I took all these little pictures of Claudette Ortiz, and I don't, you guys probably have no freaking idea who Claudette Ortiz is, but she was the, the singer from City High, and my voice is so messed up right now, I cannot sing it, but it was the, what would you do if it was at home, crying all alone in the bedroom floor? Okay, so yeah, I made her pictures rain down my page, like my space was popping. Yeah, so I'm on my space, right? And then it comes to my attention that, pit, pill, almost said Pill Cosby. 
Oh my God. Bill Cosby had a MySpace page. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm like such a fan because this is, you think about it, this was the point where we were realizing like we don't have to write fan mail anymore. Like we can literally message the celebrities and stuff that we love. Okay, so, so yeah, so I see Bill Cosby has a page and I was like, let me send him a message. So I, you know, I get all that. I, you know, I type 65 words a minute. So I was getting, I got the typing. And I, I sent him a message. Comment down below if, if you want to guess what Bill Cosby said to me, like before I even get into what he said, you know, what the conversation was. Yeah, so I messaged him. Basically, what I said was, you know, I'm a huge fan of yours and I, you know, like I was really looking forward to you doing the speech at at my graduation and um, unfortunately you know I won't be able to walk this year I'm not walking until 2005 um, you know but I'm so sorry I missed you I'm so upset about that so little did I know he must have really read this John right so I'm like you know, when I'm go, I go in there, he responded pretty fast. Like, if I remember right, like, he responded, like, within a day. So, his response was, um, not what you probably think. His response was actually, I, I wish I would have kept this to, so I could, like, read it directly. But the response basically said, um, don't stop your education continue educating yourself just because you you get your bachelor's degree it's not time to stop your education you might want to continue your education type of thing so what he sent to me was an inspirational message so i don't know what y'all thought i was gonna say but bill cosby was actually inspirational now did i take his advice? No. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I, um, once I was done, once I got my bachelor's, I was like, peace. Okay, so, yeah, that was, that was crazy, though. Yeah, that was, that was the time Bill Cosby sent me a DM, okay? Hit a thumbs up button if you like this video, and maybe I'll do more on Nikki for real because some interesting things happened in my life, okay? So, yeah, I had to do this video because, you know, as of the date of this video, he was, uh, Bill Cosby was just sentenced yesterday to the three to, three to ten years in prison, and um, it's all over the news. So I'm like, let me talk about this right now. So... Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching Nikki For Real. Don't forget to check out my main channel, um, Deal Finding Diva. And I actually have a, a giveaway going over there right now. So you might want to check it out. Subscribe. You know, put in for that, that, um, for that giveaway. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys. Bye. Round and round again. If I were to change anymore.